Yeah, I think uh, Kate Eldridge has made some really good jumps, kind of going from year one to year two. Uh, it's obviously good to get like a guy like Joey Olson in here, you know, a guy that played wide receiver. A lot of, a lot of learning on b the blocking side of things, but he's done some really good natural things out in space too. So, you know, those two guys are, are really different. Cade playing running back in high school and Joey playing receiver. And, you know, really that's what this position is a lot of times. It's finding those guys that are good athletes and show some traits that you want and characteristics and trying to teach them how to do it all. What, what does uh, Joey kind of have to show and continue to do to, to prove that, you know, he can be a part of the offense his, his freshman year? I think just like a willingness to be able to stick his face in there a little bit, you know, just coming from receiver. It's a little different when you're blocking a corner, you're blocking uh, Anthony Lucas, you know, so you get a six foot six, 250 pound DN and, you know, he's got some good size to him too, but um, you know, it's just a whole different mentality to go in there. So he's shown some some flashes of it this spring, which has been good. Just a consistency level there, and, and uh, continuing to work on all the technique and fundamentals and blocking as well. I, I didn't see Carson out there today. Is he still in the mix? He is. He is. Carson's a little dinged up right now. So, but he's 100%. He's had a really good spring. Um, has gotten a lot better at a lot of things too, man, and, and really taking some really big strides. So, really, really, uh, I like the the improvement he's made throughout the spring. What do you like from the two guys you got coming in, in the fall? Yeah, yeah, the two guys coming in the fall, man. I, I, again, you know, it's, it's kind of a wait to be seen, like what, what they can really do. Um, you know, obviously Walter is going to be intriguing just because of how big he is. I mean, he's 6'7", 255, or, you know, 245, 255. So um, tremendous athlete. He's got like a 40-inch vert and all those type of things. So um, see what he can do. And, you know, with, with all the high school guys coming in, man, obviously we recruited him for a reason and, and hopefully get to see some of the things that we saw on tape out here on the field. Another, you know, year in, in Lincoln system and, and working with them. Are you seeing anything different, you know, maybe schematically or in the past game about how the, the tight ends are kind of being used so far this spring or anticipate anything different? Yeah, I mean, every year we kind of reevaluate where, where each of the positions are at and what we're doing. Um, you know, that's one of the great things about Coach Riley. He's an innovator. Um, he's always got new ideas. But, you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to what our guys can do and what we're comfortable with. And, uh, you know, this spring has been really good. We've tried some new concepts just like everybody does. And, um, you know, hang heavily on a lot of our old stuff still, too, and just dress it up and do some different things. So it's been a fun spring. You know, excited to continue to finish this thing out and moving into fall camp, see what things stick. I know it wasn't a deep group when you first got here, but when Walker and Walter come in, do you feel like it's going to be kind of where you want it finally? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've always had really good kids here, and, and it's just a little bit probably different dynamic. Uh, we'll have a lot of youth, a lot of young guys. Um, looking forward to getting Lake back, you know, here hopefully this summer, and he'll add a, a lot of a lot of help to a lot of these young guys and just showing them the way and showing them how to do some things. But really like all the young guys we have. They've shown some really good things already. Got a lot of work left to do before season. Tight end is such a tough position, it seems like, for young guys. How do you kind of combat that in a room that has so many young guys and will have even more? Yeah, I think it's just, it's finding each guy's different. Each guy has a different set of skills. Uh, each guy needs to work on different things a lot of times. So it's really trying to hit all those different things in practice every day and, and really just trying to shape everybody each and every day. A lot of film work, uh, but a lot of individual one-on-one -on -one time as well. So I got those guys sending me videos of practice and stuff and just asking questions, which is awesome. They want to learn. Um, they're pretty excited about coming out and competing every day. We've heard that Lake has stayed locked in. What have you seen from him mentally? Yeah, I mean, he's been awesome. I mean, in meetings, uh, just continuing to just take notes. You know, some sometimes veteran guys get lazy with that type of thing, but he stayed really dialed in with that. His body's changing. He's taking advantage of this time um, to really, like, get his upper body where he wants it to be. Um, and then, obviously, working working everything, um, you know, the opposite knee that's, that's healthy and all that stuff, working that leg out really hard and, and uh, all the things. But um, he's, you know, I called it, kind of told him coming into the spring, you need to help me coach. Help me coach these young guys. we got a lot of new faces in here. So he's really embraced that role. He's out there grabbing those guys when he sees something and, and working with them as well.